Scripts serve two basic functions in FileMaker. First, they automate complex or redundant processes, things you don't want to do manually that take a long time. You can click a button, it'll do all the steps for you. And they create features that would be difficult or impossible to accomplish manually. So let's go ahead and take a look at the existing scripts. You'll see that we clicked on this before and it takes us over to our list view and this one takes us to our form view. If we go into layout mode and double click on them, it shows us that it does a single step, go to layout, contact details. And if we click on that, we'll see more detail here. And if we come over here back to our contact details, we'll see that we've made some this one also a single step to go to layout contacts. So pretty simple script but highly useful so that people can do this much more quickly than going over to the menus and doing this. Just it's not very efficient. This is one click, very easy. So let's create our own script here. Let's go into layout mode. And what I'm going to do is create a script that opens up a website. So I'm going to get my button tool, just click on it once right there. And I like to draw the button so it's the same size as that field. So I draw it right on top of that field. And then you've got a lot of choices up here. I'm going to choose just to have an icon. And I'll scroll down to find the icon I want, which is this one right here. That looks great. Then I'll come down here and say, OK, I want a single step. And you just click here and type what you want. So there's one called Open URL. And you'll see eventually it comes up. I click on it. And then I can say dialog on or off. Now, I don't want it to go ahead and show me the dialog that says, do you want to open this website? I just want it to open it. So I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to specify inside here my field that has the website in it. So this is a calculation dialog. And you don't have to know everything that's going on here. All you have to do is go down the fields in the list here, find the website, double click on it. It puts it in there. You don't have to worry about all this stuff over here. Just Realize it's referring to the contacts table and the website field. That's all you need. And it's going to open that up. So let's try it out. First, let's place it in the right location. There we go. Make that field a little bit smaller. That looks pretty good. Go to browse mode. Click on it. You can see it goes right to the website. Perfect. OK, let's go into layout mode. I'm going to duplicate this so I don't have to draw exactly the same. I want consistency in button size here. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring it down here to send an email. Put it right there. Make this a little bit smaller. Double click on it. Change the icon first of all. That should be an email icon, which you can see right there. Single step. We'll click on this since it's copied from the other one that we duplicated. I'm going to type in send mail. It's right there. Now send mail will work with Mac mail on your Macintosh and Outlook on Windows. Those are the two mail programs it will work with. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep this dialog on here so I can actually add some text to it because all it's going to do is fill in the email address for me. And the way we do that is we come in here in the to section. There's a lot of stuff here. Don't worry about it. You only have to know a few things to get what you done you know, want done and just come over here to the two, specify the field name, come down and find your office email, click OK, and you're done. It put in all that information in for you, and you're done with it. You don't have to know what everything else does, just that. So if we go into browse mode, take a look at the email, click on it, you'll see that it makes an email. You can go ahead and then put the subject. That saved you quite a few steps there. Now what we'll do is we'll come down here and duplicate this, move it down to exactly the same spot but across from this field, make that a little bit smaller, double click on it, click on that, click on that, change this to the personal email, so I specify field again, I'll go ahead and use type ahead, there's personal email, I just typed in PER click OK and now it's going to go ahead and that button since it's next to the personal email will send an email to that one. You can see how it's got the different email address in there. Perfect. 
So let's add in one last script. Now, this script is going to be multiple steps. You've only done single steps so far. Those are useful, but this one will be even more useful. What we're going to do is go over to our list. And what I want here is a button that says print. Remember that print layout we created? Well, we're going to go into layout mode. We're going to come in here and get our tool here. Draw ourselves a button in there. We'll say print. I'll go for an icon and the text. In the icon, there should be a printer in here somewhere. There we go. That looks good. Um, actually, I like that one better. Perfect. I'll move this so it's over in the right-hand corner like the rest of the stuff. Right in there. Looks good. Now what we need to do is double-click on it and choose not a single step, but perform script. Now you can see there's already some scripts in here already that the developer who created this template put in here. We don't have to take a look at those, just realize they're there. But what we need is to make our own script. So we're going to cancel that, go into our scripts, script workspace. We'll come in here and hit the plus sign, very easy, right? Type in a name, we'll call this print contacts. And we need it works really the same way. You type in what you want. So what do we need? Well, we need to go to that layout. That's the first thing we need to go to. And what is that layout called? Well, we named it Print Contact, so it's very easy to locate. You don't have to worry about animation right now. It's no big deal. You don't have to know everything about everything to get things done. The next thing we're going to do is Print Setup. I want to make sure that the people don't have to set up the Print Setup on their own, so I won't, don't want them to see it. I just wanted to specify the print setup or page setup they want. So we set it in here and it remembers it. It's now remembered. It says restored. It's remembering exactly those options, the portrait and the, uh, the, the US letter. So whatever you put in there will remember. Then I'm going to say print. I'm going to go ahead and take the dialog off. Specify for it to remember the options in here. Records being browsed is what you want. There we go. And then lastly, so they don't even know it went on, we go back to the original layout, which is the default. So that's pretty cool stuff. We can actually go ahead and now print this. We'll save all, double click on the print button, perform a script. We now see our script there. Click OK. Go into browse mode. And you'll probably hear my printer in a few seconds. So we'll go ahead and hit print. And you didn't see anything happen because it did it so quickly. It went ahead and went to that layout, set the print set up, hit print, and then came back. And so it just prints it for them. It makes it very easy for people so they don't have to remember how all the things in FileMaker work. Imagine how many steps that would be for them to remember. They're bound to get one of them wrong. And so hopefully you can hear the printer going in the background right now. It definitely worked and was exactly what we wanted to make this solution easier to use. Even if you know how to use FileMaker, it still makes it easier to use.